Welcome to Things I Love. I'm Mark Eddington, and these are the two droids that I picked up at Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost in Target. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> Actually, I didn't pick this one up. I'll tell you that story in a second. But if you're new to this channel, we're all about Disney, Star Wars, and Lego. That is the trifecta of our fandom here. Love for you to be a part of that family. Hit that subscribe button down below, that bell to be notified of these weekly positive videos, and give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you share and comment down below as well. Well, let's get right into it. Uh, put this one off to the side for a second and talk about DJ Rex. So as you know, I'm a pastor. Well. August 30th was the day that all of these started hitting the Galaxy's Edge trading outpost in Target. Well, August 30th is a Sunday, and I was leading worship and preaching that morning. But I've got amazing kids, and my eldest daughter, Samantha, said, I'll go pick it up for you. So she went at 8 o'clock and picked this guy up and picked Captain Cardinal up, and just amazing. I'm very thankful for her. <laughs> as I was preaching that morning, and it even kind of worked its way into my sermon, uh, <laughs> but had a good time there. All right, let's get into it. DJ Rex, uh, you can check him out right back here, Star Tours. He used to be the captain of Star Tours in uh, MGM uh, Studios, which is now Hollywood Studios, and out at Disneyland as well. Uh, but then he got kind of taken over into Galaxy's Edge, and he's now the DJ at Ogus Cantina. There's a whole backstory there, you can check it out online. But on the back here it says, Rex was recently reprogrammed to be a DJ in Ogus Cantina. Today he can be found playing the latest hits from around the galaxy in the heart of Black Spire Outpost. And you can check out our Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost Hall right here and see what all we got there. But let's get right into it. You can see the box here. He's a he's a really cool, quirky looking, looking dude. And I love how they stamp these boxes, these new Black Series boxes with that, that Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost insignia there. On the side here, it just says DJ Rex. And same on this side, except it's got the Galaxy's Edge insignia there on the top. Very cool. On the back, a little information about him. Let's get right into it. I've already cut the tape there at the top, so... I'm excited about this one. He's, I just love DJ Rex. He's, uh, he's been a part of my, you know, going to Disney for a while since he was the captain of Star Tours. Okay, let's get into it. I don't want to break him. I don't want to break him. Ooh, they get these in there tight. All right, there we go. Very cool. All right, man, he's got lots of points of articulation. Wow, just bends there, bends there, bends all, all over the place. And then he's got this head that pops up there. Kind of got a corkscrew look to it. But it just pushes back down. Kind of turn him around and pretend like it's screwing up and down. But <laughs> very cool. Remember E.T.? His neck would go up. I had a little action figure with E.T. that would do that. There you go. the bottom there nothing special about that but uh, that's what he sits on there so there's no no legs or anything love the colors here the kind of the burnt orange kind of dingy looking and the blue very cool well, I've got a droid collection you know I, I have certain tracks that I run on in my collections and I've got a Mandalorian collection and a droid collection got a droid shelf right down here and so We'll be expanding that shelf with some of the droids that I've gotten. But I like him. I like him a lot. He's he's very cool looking. I, I've always liked how they use kind of the, the old microphone for the, the mouth there. You can see it better on the, on the box here. I think that's originally what was actually used with those old 1950s, 1960s microphones. Um, but very cool. So this one, this arm over here just goes sideways and then this bends and then this turns and these open I mean it's got a lot of a lot of movement a lot of motion here uh, so that one that one goes uh, this way and then this one goes up and down and the, the hands open up of course you want to check out our Ogus Cantina visit right here where you can see DJ Rex doing his thing and then this one up and down this way and turns 
this way as well. So you can you can position them like any way that you want to pretty much. Very cool. And then the body here, uh, his head can stay put and the, the body can, can move. That's cool. I wasn't sure exactly what I was expecting with this one, but I like him. I like him a lot. He'll be a nice addition because I have nothing like him on my droid shelf. Um, let's just open all these up and then spin them around for you. Got some arabesque writing on the front there. You see that? All right, that is DJ Rex. We'll put him off to the side here. And then I'm always a fan of the three and three quarter inch figures. You know, I love the Black Series figures more so now that I'm quote unquote grown up because <laughs> they're just so beautiful. Uh, but, but growing up, uh, you know, three and three quarter inch was the thing. And so I found these, this Astromech droid. They also have um, BB-8 droids or BB unit droids, I should say. Um, here's the box there. The side, it just kind of shows you He's got those extra arms that you can put on, or extra tools that you can put on his arm. On this side. And like I mentioned before, it's got that trading outpost insignia on it. On the back is just full of warnings in different languages. <laughs> they have to do that. Cover themselves in case some kid swallows a little piece. Alright, let's get into it. I have no idea how to get into this. Let's see. Uh, okay, the side here. That's interesting. I like doing this first thing for you guys, and the hardest thing for me is holding off on opening these from when I get them to when I do these videos. <laughs> um, Alright, more tape. You guys have heard about my mom and how much tape she uses uh, on Christmas gifts and things. This, they took a note from her playbook. All right, there we go. That's clever though. So it opens kind of like that. I love the coloring in this one. As you can see, my R2 YouTube back here, you may not be able to see it, but uh, we've got a show from Galaxy's Edge where you can check that out right here. It talks about the Joy Depot and Savi's workshop, and it's orange and black and white. I love those colors. So that's what this is. Oh, very cool. So that just kind of pops off the front there. Easy. And I remember my first R2-D2. I hear my mom's voice in my head right now saying, don't sell your Star Wars toys. And of course I, I did. Needed the money for some reason. Stupid teenager. <laughs> okay, so I, I remember my first R2D2 um, three and three quarter inch figure. You're worth a lot of money now. Well, there we go. Kind of doesn't give you much of a choice of which direction you want to go because I don't know if you can see, but this front wheel doesn't really bend very much at all. Kind of keeps it going that direction towards the back. So. So there you go. There he is. Love the color. Just love it. Black and orange. And then you can see that the, the head is kind of transparent. That's cool. These guys snap on the side, kind of like Chopper, where he can fly. At least that's what it looks like to me. I don't have a droid like this one, so that's cool. Unique. I'm all about unique. Okay. So that is cool, and his head turns. All the way around. They had another one where you could change the head to that more squarish unit. 
there you go. Those are the two droids that I picked up. I'm happy with those. They're, they're unique, they're different from what I've got. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Did you pick up any of these? Are you looking forward to picking up some in the future? They've got a lot of cool stuff there. A lot of cool stuff kind of evoking the, the feelings of going to Galaxy's Edge. And if you haven't been there before, um, just kind of more in the Star Wars universe to, to wet your whistle with. There you have it. Uh, this has been Things I Love. I'm Mark Eddington. Disney, Star Wars, Lego, that's our fandom. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell to be notified of these weekly positive videos and give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Remember to share it and comment down below. It's been a bit about me to help you be more you. Gotta put these back on our droid shelf. We might have to expand that shelf.